Hey, Omis, welcome into Om Yoga. I am Mary O'Meara. This is our slow flow, chaturanga free, feel good yoga. We're going to begin today in tabletop pose. And so let's go ahead and bring the wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And let's take a moment to connect with our breath here. So wherever you are, let's take a nice audible exhale out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, deep into the belly. Big exhale, let it go. Let's seal the lips this time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. All right, let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start in a modified gate pose. You're going to take your left foot out. See if you can bring your left, flip, the left foot rather to the floor. And if not, then you can keep the foot up just a little bit. Okay. Then we're going to gently sit the hips back. Breathe into the inner thigh on the left leg. Come up to table. Sit back. Come up, sit back, and again, come up. One more time to sit back, come up. Now we're gonna stretch into the arms here. You're gonna take the right arm out to a T, and then we're gonna cross it underneath the left. So we're threading the needle a little bit here, left palm faces up. Breathe into the shoulder here. You can even press into your left palm to open the chest a little bit more if that feels good. And then we're going to come back up. Arm goes out, maybe even up. And again, right arm threads. Release the head to the floor. One more time. Inhale, come up, stretch the arm up. And exhale, thread it through. And then we're gonna come back, bend into the left knee, back to table, and we're gonna switch it out. Go ahead and take the right foot out now. See what you can do about having your right foot to the floor this time. If on the left side you kept the foot up a little bit, do the same here. We wanna stay even. And then we're gonna gently sit the hips back. Come up. Sit back. Come up, last time, sit back, come up, stay here. Left arm now comes out to a T and then we're gonna exhale to thread. Left shoulder to the ground as the head releases. And then you have the option here to gently press into the right palm and this will just get you a little bit deeper stretch through the back of the shoulders. Then we're gonna inhale, come back up. Maybe you open the left arm up a little bit. And then we're gonna exhale to thread. Again, open up and thread. We're gonna come back to table. Right knee underneath the hip, take an inhale. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And we're going to exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Let's take a moment here, bring movement into the legs, bending one knee, then the other. You can always skip this and stay still if you prefer. And come back to stillness. We're gonna inhale, come forward into your bear plank. So your knees are gonna be about an inch or two off the mat. And then we're gonna exhale, press back to down dog. Keep the knees bent here in your down dog. And then we're just gonna shift forward, lower to bear. And shift back to down dog. Go ahead and take your right leg up to the sky, open the hip, stack the 
right knee on top of the hip. You can take circles if you want. We're only gonna be here for a little moment though. Breathe into the hip, the right side body. Keep the chest square here. And then we're gonna exhale, take a wide-legged lunge. So your right foot is gonna come outside of your right hand. Go ahead and release down to your left knee if you'd like. I'll give you the option to lift up in just a moment, but we're just gonna find a little rock back and forth. So we're gonna come into our half splits, but a wide leg here. Flex the right toes, slight bend in the right leg if you need. And we're gonna exhale to bend. Stay here a moment. Really breathe into the right inner thigh. And then go ahead and come back into your half splits. Breathe through the back side of the body here. Come forward into your lunge. Now, if you want, you can lift up off of the back leg and then straighten. You might need to adjust your hands a little bit. Okay, but stay where you feel most comfortable. And then we're gonna bend. So if that back leg is lifted, I want you to engage the glutes here. One more time, we're gonna straighten. And bend. And then step back to downward facing dog. Let's get the second side, left leg up, toes point down. Now open the hip. So you're gonna stack your left knee, but I want us to think about the chest square here. So we're not looking to open the chest with the leg. And we're gonna exhale into our wide legged lunge, left foot outside the left hand, release to your back knee, untuck the toes, breathe into the left hip this time. You might even breathe down through the front of the right side body. And then we're going to straighten again, flex the toes, bend into the knee as much as you need to. People think that we need to get into this crazy deep stretch with yoga. We don't, if that's where you are, great, <laughs> but this is an active stretch. So we're engaged with the leg. Then we're going to exhale to bend. And we're going to straighten. And by all means, you can straighten out the left leg but still keep that micro bend in your knee. Okay, and then we're gonna bend. If you lift it up on the other side, do so here. And we straighten, draw the toes towards the face. And bend. Again, squeeze the glutes here, straighten. Bend, and step back, downward facing dog. We're gonna switch it up here. We're gonna inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge into your runner's lunge. Take a moment. Back heel spins down to a 90. We're gonna open, lift up into our warrior two. We'll take some time here to settle in. I want us to focus the right knee over the second and third toe. Extend the arms out. Breathe into the areas that need it. What body part is speaking to you the most? Right now my quads are saying hello. Maybe it's your hips. Maybe it's everything. Can you breathe? Now we're gonna inhale up to star. Your heels are in, toes are out. I'm gonna show you where we're going really fast. We're gonna fold down through goddess, come down. Then we're gonna straighten the feet and come up. Then we're gonna come back to goddess feet, fold, and then we come up, reach the arms up. All right, okay, here we go. So we're gonna fold through goddess. Hands down, straighten the feet, lift the hips, find your halfway lift, breathe into the legs here. Okay, you can also micro bend into the knees if you need to. 
Now we're gonna bring the heels back in, toes out, fold, circle the arms up, straighten the legs as you come up. So it's like we're moving through star to goddess. And then back, <laughs> fold down, hands to the ground, lift the hips. You could even keep the feet as they are here. And then again, exhale, fold, bend the knees, keep the legs wide open though. Inhale, circle up. One more time, exhale, maybe even take your hands through heart center to the ground, halfway lift. Now we're gonna exhale, come around to the front of your mat, runner's lunge. And we're gonna step it back, downward facing dog. Second side, left leg, take it up. Exhale, lunge. Back heel spins down. We open into our warrior two. Take your time. Okay, left knee now tracks over the second and third toe. Shoulders away from ears, arms extend. Find the energy. Most importantly, Find your breath. Now we inhale to star, feet parallel, arms up. Heels come in, toes out. We're gonna exhale to fold through our goddess, hands to the ground, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, bend the knees, inhale. Can you circle the arms back up? And exhale, fold through goddess. Hands to the ground, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last time through, rise to your star. Exhale, fold through goddess. Keep the knees open here as you fold. Halfway lift. And we're gonna exhale, runner's lunge to the front of the mat. Step it back, downward facing dog. We're gonna change it up one more time. <laughs> we're gonna take the right leg up. We're gonna exhale to lunge. In our runner's lunge, we're gonna take a cow. So bring your gaze forward, heart forward. Fingertips are still to the floor. We're gonna exhale round chin to chest. Again, inhale, heart forward into your cow. Exhale round chin towards chest, cat. Now we're gonna inhale, come up, crescent. We're gonna exhale, release the hands down. Step it back, down dog. Second time, well second side through. Left leg, take it up. Runner's lunge. Find your cow, gaze forward, heart forward. Cat, chin to chest. Again, cow, heart forward. Cat, chin to chest. Inhale, slowly come up to crescent. Now we're gonna exhale, release it down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. We're gonna exhale, half pigeon, right knee outside of the right wrist. Release your back toes. If this is not accessible for you, totally okay. You're gonna come on your back. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left thigh. You can stay here if you need to go a little deeper. You can lift the left foot off the floor. Always remember, that wherever you need to be on your mat, 
is what matters. <laughs> we talk about this in Om Yoga often, right? This is an Instagram yoga. Um, we're not looking to get into these crazy postures of what other people can do. And if you can do that, great. Um, but that's just, our focus is to be where we need to be. And that may be different from where I am or where everybody else is, and that's okay. If you're in your half pigeon, you can fold if you're not there already. It's about honoring and meeting ourselves where we are. Keep a gentle squeeze of the inner thighs here. Again, this is another pose that people tend to just sink into, right? We don't want to sink and just fall into the joints. We want to squeeze the inner thighs. And as we activate, that helps to engage more. So we get more of an active stretch. And that's not to say that we can't melt the torso down. <laughs> Keep the squeeze of the inner thighs though. And you walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We're going to step it back. Let's find our three-legged down dog again. So go ahead and take the right leg up and over. Chest is still square. Let's find some circles. Draw in one direction. Pause and draw in the other direction. And then come back to downward facing dog. Let's get the second side. Left leg, take it up. Find your half pigeon or you're on your back and you're gonna switch your thread. Lift the heart, lift the chest. And then we're gonna exhale and fold our way down. Either right hip is gonna come forward with this, left hip is back. Squeeze the inner thighs. And it's okay if we feel more quote unquote open on one side um, compared to the other. That's normal and natural. It's about balancing out. So if you find you're really open on your right side, but not so much on your left, we want to take the right side to meet where the left is. Okay, we're not looking to force the quote unquote tighter side to meet the more open side, we are balancing by reining in the open side to meet the tighter side. Keep your gentle squeeze of the inner thighs. Walk the hands back, lift the heart, lift the chest. We'll find our way into our three-legged down dog. Left leg now up and over, chest square to the back of the mat. Let's find our circles. Go in one direction. After your third switch, other direction. And down dog. Go ahead and have a look forward, bring the knees down. Walk the knees forward, have a seat. Let's find a little bit more of a stretch for the hips. You're gonna take your feet out as wide as your mat. Your hands, fingertips can face forward. They can also face to the back. Whatever feels most comfortable does not make a difference for the pose. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and rock the legs over to the left. Look for a 90 degree here with the legs. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Then let's switch over to the other side. Again, aim for that 90 degree angle. Let's go back one more side, one more time. Left and right. Back to center. Go ahead and prepare for your Shavasana. Feet are gonna be out and lay. Walk your shoulder blades a little together behind the spine to lift the heart. 
And let your eyes close as you allow yourself to rest and to absorb your practice. And gently bring movement to fingers and toes, little wrists and ankles. Let's inhale, arms overhead, full body stretch, point the toes. Exhale, draw your knees to your chest and find your way to your favorite side. Use your bicep as a pillow as you pause a moment. Then when you're ready, press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. And once there, let's bring our hands to our heart center. Let's gaze down to the fingertips. Close the eyes if you can. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others. Most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. All right, Omis, these have quickly become some of the most requested classes for Om Yoga. Let me know how you're loving these slow flow chaturanga free classes in the comments below. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You can also join me on all my socials down in the comment section below and get ready for an Ohm Yoga membership site. That is right, Omis. This has been four years in the making. So get on my wait list if you are interested. I have a special gift for the first 25 people that sign up. Not onto the wait list, but when the doors open for the membership. And there's going to be so much more Om Yoga headed your, ra- your way, Omis. I'm so excited. I can't even talk. All right. I will see you again next Saturday. Have a good one.